recent conversation for Japanese outlet The River, Studio Trigger co-founder Hiroyuki Imaishi and Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes director Wes Ball discussed the possibility of a Planet of the Apes anime series, and it got me thinking, could Planet of the Apes work today as a TV series, and what could it possibly be? I'm here to dive into these questions. If you like what I do here and want to show your support, be sure to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all things apes. Enjoy the video. And welcome back to Ape Nation, your number one source for all things Planet of the Apes on YouTube. My name is Josh, and today I wanted to discuss the possibilities of a Planet of the Apes TV series. Like I mentioned up top, Wes Ball, the director of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, had a conversation with Hiroyuki Imaishi, who is the co-founder and director at Studio Trigger, the anime studio behind shows like Kill La Kill and Cyberpunk Edgerunners. You can read the full discussion at the link down below in the description, but I wanted to read a specific quote that came from from it as it sounds like both of them would be on board for a Planet of the Apes anime series. Imaishi said, Planet of the Apes is a fascinating series that seems like it could do a lot of different things if it were made into a TV series. The host then suggested that he and Wes Ball team up to make an anime series, to which Wes Ball responded, yes, that sounds interesting, let's ask Disney, that could be great. Imaishi then shared a few of his ideas for what Planet of the Apes anime series could be, saying, there aren't many films in Japan that feature monkeys as the main character. If I were to make one for the Japanese market, I'd like to try a monkey school. So these quotes came out a week or so ago, kind of spread around, talked about by a few people, and I wanted to give my thoughts, not specifically on the anime, but just on a TV show in general. I do think it's interesting that these discussions were had, but I do think it's pretty exciting that this is even a possibility. It's actually not that surprising, especially considering when you've listened to how West Ball has talked about his process for making Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, he's compared it a lot to Miyazaki films, and definitely seems like it's something that is kind of up his alley, so that's not really surprising that this would be something that he's into. I will just say up front, just completely being honest, I am not an anime person. I've tried to get into some anime, whether it be some movies, some shows, just haven't found anything that's really clicked for me. I don't know if it's just the medium or the genres or whatever, but I've tried many times, still have not found much that has really resonated with me. But I have nothing against anime. I think people that make it are incredibly talented, uh, tell stories that resonate with a lot of people. I am just not one of them. But that all being said, if they were to make a Planet of the Apes anime series, I would watch it. I definitely would watch it. I would still give the show a chance if it were to get made, because I think there is potential in exploring different ideas and exploring things through animation and through anime. But like I said before, it got me thinking a little wider and thinking just in general, could a Planet of the Apes TV series work? Would it be a good idea? And there's some pros and some cons, but overall, yes, I think a Planet of the Apes TV series would be a really cool thing. Now, the first question is, should it be a live action show or should it be an animated show or an anime show? And the unfortunate reality is, I feel like a Planet of the Apes TV series would have to be animated unless you had a more prominent human cast and the reason being is that it's just I think too expensive to be putting CGI apes that look as good and look as real as they do in the movies in a TV show the budgets are smaller the stories have to be a little more contained and I just don't know if they would be able to achieve what they're able to achieve in the movies on the smaller scale on the smaller screen especially with how budgets in Hollywood just in general today and on the TV side and movie side are all starting to come down a little bit for good reason of course but still they're all starting to come down they're starting to get scaled back and so I just don't see a reality where a live action Planet of the Apes TV series is financially a great idea or would even be possible unless it was predominantly human cast which I don't think anyone really is interested in at least I don't think that many people would be interested in but I don't know so I think the solution is in either an animated series or an anime series. I'm not saying you couldn't do a live action series, I just don't think it's that practical of an idea. But as far as making an animated series, I would be all for it. I think an animated series could be incredible. You know, it wouldn't have to just be some Saturday morning cartoon similar to what the original animated series was, but it could actually be something that has maybe something with a little more depth, maybe something similar to Arcane, the Netflix series that started a few years ago. And so if you were to go down that route, I would be completely on board. I think an animated series would be really exciting and open a lot of possibilities or an anime series 
series as well. But either way, I think that is an approach they could take and it would work. The other question is, will people watch it? Will this be a show that can appeal to a wider audience or will this be more of a niche thing? And I don't really know. I think it really depends on what the story is, who the characters are. And unfortunately, it being an animated series is definitely going to keep that audience a lot more niche than if it was a live action series. That's just the way the world is. That's just the way general audiences look at things. But I do think an Apes animated series could work and could be really great as long as they have a good story to tell and as long as they continue that depth and that sense of world building and everything that we've come to know and love about the movies so far. Now, as far as what a TV show could be about, I have some ideas. I've actually been thinking about maybe doing like a top five what I would like in a Planet of the Apes TV series to be down the road, but just some general ideas I had. I mean, these are not really that crazy ideas that no one's really had before, but the obvious one is a post Caesar story about the OG characters, whether it be Cornelius or Maurice or Rocket, or maybe a new character that just is part of that tribe or is a part of that story. But I think that's kind of the one where everyone would probably immediately be on board or be interested in just because that's what a lot of people wanted coming out of war. And so I think it would satisfy some of the people that were hoping for Kingdom to be that movie. And I would, of course, love to see Maurice and Rocket and, you know, maybe see the story of Cornelius unfold. I don't necessarily need it, but I wouldn't say no to seeing it. So I think that's definitely an option. And it's, of course, the most obvious option. Another one would just be a completely standalone story that is a completely separate part of the timeline. It could be 500 years after Kingdom. It could be set between War and Kingdom. It could be set during the original trilogy. It could just be a complete standalone story, very similar to what they did with the video game Planet of the Apes Last Frontier, which was just a standalone story that takes place during the time period of Dawn and War for the Planet of the Apes. But it's about a completely separate tribe of apes. So you could do something like that. You could also just do a completely human story, which again, I don't know would be hugely appealing to fans but maybe it might be appealing to general audiences a little bit more. And it would obviously be a much more cost effective show that you could probably do live action. And so I don't know what you would do. Maybe you could do a show about Malcolm and his family after dawn and the lead up to his eventual death, which happens before war or something like that. Or you could just tell a completely new human story. I don't really know, but I think these are some of the kind of general ideas that they could go with. There's probably a lot more interesting and exciting ideas that I just haven't thought of or that other people have thought of that I haven't seen. But these are some of the ideas that I've thought around. But I will say the one idea that I had that I think would probably be my preferred choice, and this would probably be the way I would want to go, is an anthology series. I think an anthology series for Planet of the Apes is 100% the correct approach for a franchise like this, for a universe like this. There's just so many stories. It's not this linear thing that is just focused on one family or one character. It is a chronicle of different generations of apes throughout history and the rise and the fall and the different parts of the time line and all that kind of stuff. So I think there's just so many things you can do. And I feel like limiting it to one story or one group of characters for an entire show, whether it be three seasons, five seasons, 10 seasons is just not beneficial to the potential of Planet of the Apes. So I think doing an anthology series would be the way to go. You know, you could have one season that takes place a few hundred years after Kingdom. You could have another season that takes place like 2000 years in the future. That's way closer to the original movie. You could have another season that takes place in the Caesar trilogy era. So you could do a ton of different stories taking place throughout tons of different places in history. You could have eight protagonists one season, you could have human protagonists another season, you could have both for another season, you know, there's so many options, there's so many possibilities. And so that's why I just think limiting it to just one story pulled across an entire show just doesn't quite use up the potential of what Planet of the Apes can do and has done for so many years. So I think an anthology series is how I would go about it. But that's just my opinion. That's just what I think they should do. I want to know what you think they should do. If you think they should do a TV show at all? Do you think it would just dilute the brand? Should they just stick to making movies? Or do you think there's room for more Planet of the Apes storytelling? Do you think there's room for a TV show? Would you want to see a TV show? Would you want to see an animated series? Do you think I'm wrong? And do you think that a live action show is actually possible? Leave all your thoughts down below and let me know what you think could happen when it comes to a Planet of the Apes TV series. Thank you so much for checking out today's video here on Ape Nation. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all things apes. I'll catch you in the next one. So until then, goodbye.